Hey, what's up everybody? So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Mailgun, the mail sending service, to send emails in your note applications. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to mailgun.com and sign up for their free account. So take all this out. All right, so they're going to want your account name, uh, just enter in whatever, like a username, and then you'll say that you're sending less than 10,000 emails a month. Um, unless of course you're not and then you can select something else uh, name email password and then pay for payment information so the payment information is optional if you uncheck it then um, let's see here accounts with a credit card are restricted to authorized recipients only oh, without a credit card okay so for testing purposes you don't have to enter in a credit card if you don't want to if you do enter in a credit card, then they'll give you a free 10,000 emails every month. Otherwise, let's see what this says. So it looks like you can enter up to five recipients. So if you just want to do it for testing purposes and you don't want to enter in your credit card information, that's fine. You just get to enter in up to five different emails to test it out on. So uh, they give you instructions here for how to uh, add the the authorized recipients so if you don't do the credit card then go ahead and just click this link right here and leave that tab open so that you can do that in your application uh, meanwhile enter in your info and say that you're not a robot and create your account once you create your account it'll log you in and uh, we'll see you on that step in a second okay so once you're logged in there's actually going to be a, an orange notification up at the top here and it's going to tell you that you need to verify your email so you're going to go to your email they're going to have sent you an email inside of that email is going to be a link you're going to click on that link when you click on it it's going to take you to a web page where they're going to ask you to enter your phone number if you enter your phone number they're going to send you like a six digit verification number as a text message you get that number you enter it back into the form and you submit it and once it verifies that it's you then your account is ready to go so once you've checked your email, clicked on that link, entered in your phone number, verified the uh, number that they send you, etc., then you can log into the dashboard if you're not already here, and this is where you're going to be ready to go. So once you log in, it'll say that I think you're like 25% uh, ready to go or something like that, and they'll want you to add a custom domain. So you only have to add the custom domain if you're using this uh, mail service for a production website which many of you probably are, at which point you're going to want to go ahead and click on add a custom domain, enter the domain name. Once you add it, they're going to give you a bunch of extra steps with things that you need to enter into your domain name provider. Uh, like I think it's like some DNS information or some, uh, some C names or MX records, something like that. They give you everything you need. You copy that and you plug it into wherever you bought your domain name from. And then once you're verified, you can send emails from that domain. We're not going to do that because we're just doing this for testing and development purposes. So instead of, instead of entering a domain, I'm just going to click on domains at the top and they already have a domain in here for me to use. It's a uh, sandbox domain. It's specifically for testing. Leave this page open. You'll come back and copy this in a second. So the next thing we want to do is go get the Mailgun.js NPM package. So if you look up Mailgun.js, NPM on Google, the first link is going to take you to this NPM JS website where they have the Mailgun JS package. So that's Mailgun one word dash JS. Once you're here, you can see this is the one by this guy uh, Bojan or Bohan, something like that. Um, they have a little bit of information here, and then the important thing that we're going to be using is this snippet of code right here. So once you get to this page, leave this open. We're going to copy this. And then we're going to go back here and we're going to copy that and we're going to plug those into our node application. So to get the node application started, I'm going to open my terminal. So now with my terminal open, I'm on my desktop. I'm just going to uh, create and step into an empty directory and run. Let's see here. I'm going to create an app.js file. So touch app.js and then I'm going to run npm init y. And so that just means run through npm init and select yes for all the options that they give you and so it's just going to name it test because that's the name of the folder and then it's going to make the main file that we use app.js because i touched created the app.js file 
So now if you do an ls, we've got a package.json file for npm and we have the app.js file. I'm gonna open this in Sublime. You can open it in any uh, code editor and open up the app.js file. So this is where we're gonna paste in the code from the mailgun JS npm package website. So I'm gonna go back to my browser, go to mailgun JS, and again, underneath usage overview, it's the first snippet of code. Just copy the entire thing, go back to your application and paste it in. So I'll save that. I will go back to Chrome. I'm gonna go back to the mailgun dashboard. And if you're not here already, go to domains. And then you'll see the sandbox one that's active. Just right click and copy that. And then I'm going to paste that in here where it says www.mydomain.com. So I'll paste it in and save this file. Now I need an API key. So I'm gonna go back to the browser, go up here to the top right corner, click on my name and click security. And then right here under private API key, I'm gonna click the I, make it visible, copy it, go back to my application code, and right here where I have the domain key, I'm gonna go ahead and paste that in. So save that, and then go into your terminal, and make sure that you npm i-s uh, mailgun-js. So the i is for install, the dash capital S is for save. If you're using the newest version of npm, you don't have to use the dash save or dash capital S or dash dash save. Uh, it's already done for you. I just threw that in there just in case anybody's following along with an older version of NPM. So you can ignore the notice and the warns here. And if you go to your package JSON, you can see that mailgun.js was added as a dependency. So if I go to app.js, now everything is more or less ready to go. I just want to make sure that I plug in the correct information here. So let's go through this code line by line and see what's going on here. So on the first line, we're creating a variable called API key and setting it equal to our API secret from the mailgun dashboard. On the next line, we're entering in a variable called domain. This is the domain name, the sandbox domain that they give us so that we can send out test emails. And then we create a variable called mailgun. We require the mailgun JS NPM package. And then we pass in an object here with the API key uh, key pointing to a value of API key and then key for domain pointing to a value of domain. Now we're creating a data variable that's an object and it has information about the email. So from and then here's the name so you can say uh, excited user or from Ian and then I'll plug in my email here so learn to code info if I can spell at gmail.com I'll go ahead and copy that email. That's gonna be the same email for the two because I wanna send it to myself so I can see that it was actually sent. So you have your from, which is you, two is to whoever you're sending it to, and then subject, uh, it can be anything. We'll just say, hello world, and then text. Uh, we'll just leave this, it's testing some mailgun awesomeness. So I'll go ahead and save my file. And then here's where all the action happens. Mailgun.messages gets invoked, it has a dot send, method that takes in the data object that we created here and then returns a callback here or has a callback that gets invoked that returns uh, error and body. So the only thing that's not happening here is they're not checking uh, the error. So we'll do an if error and then we'll just console log the error if anything comes back there. And if there's no error then we'll console log the body and that'll tell us like the email was queued, it was sent from the Mailgun API. So everything here should be good to go. If you have your Mailgun JS uh, NPM package installed and it's in your package JSON as a dependency, you go back to app.js, you have all your details here. Let's go ahead and make sure it's saved. We'll go back to the terminal and clear it out and run node app.js. So it gives us an ID and it's got the uh, sandbox URL for the domain and then it says that the message is queued and it says thank you and that's it. So that means that it was sent successfully but to be sure obviously we're gonna go to my email and t uh, check make sure it's there. So I'll go to my email 
and there it is. It's to me, from me, and then hello world, and we click on it and it says testing some Mailgun awesomeness. So getting set up with Mailgun is really easy. The Oh, also going back, if you did not enter in your credit card, then you would have to do that extra step of adding in the additional emails um, that you could that you get up to five emails that you can send test emails to. Um, but since I know I'm never going to get sent ten thousand, uh, I'm never going to send ten thousand emails a month, then I went ahead and just entered my credit card information in there. So it let me send it to whoever. I didn't have to add five emails to the list. Uh, remember back when you were signing up, if you didn't enter in your credit card then you would have clicked that link that they gave you and it would have instructions for adding those five emails okay so uh, also I'm gonna reset this key so don't try to use it in your application um, that's pretty much it sending mail with Mailgun in your note application is really easy you may be wondering uh, how this plays into ExpressJS if that's the framework that you're using to send emails um, like a contact form or a password reset and basically you just you're gonna require uh, you're gonna put this code up top in your route and then you're gonna use this code or sorry this code is gonna be up top in your route file and then this code right here is gonna be inside the actual route and that's how you're gonna collect the information from the form that was submitted and then send it and then here after the email has been sent instead of your console log body that's fine but then if it's sent successfully, you can redirect back to um, wherever. You can do a flash message, say, hey, the email is sent successfully, or if there's an error, then you can catch that and say, uh, hey, there was an error. Okay, so that's it for Mailgun, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks.